we have two word problems on the board. The first one says the sum of twice the number and 12 is 80. And the second one says twice the sum of a number and 12 is 80. They sound so similar, right? And our goal is to figure out what the number is in these two questions. Do you think that we'll end up with the same answer because they are pretty much the same? Why don't you guys pause the video and think through these two questions first? Seriously, pause the video and then work them out first. I'll wait for you. Okay, assuming you guys actually did it, okay? So let me tell you guys, all these questions, it's all about reading, reading, reading. And the most important part is that we need to read the question the way that the questions want us to read them. And I meant what I said, okay? So right here, let me show you. For the first one, the easiest part is this, is 80. When we're reading the word problems, we are going to translate that into an equation along the way. That's equal to 80 at the end. That's the easiest part. And for this part, in fact, we should read it from the middle out, inside out, okay? So it says the sum of twice the number and 12. We have two things to work with. First of all, it says twice a number. What does that mean? That means two times a known number, right? So we can put down 2x. Or if you would like, you can put down 2n. Doesn't matter, n stands for number. That's okay too. The other thing that we're working with is a 12. So let's also put down 12. Well, what are they doing? The 2x and the 12. Well, we have to refer back to what we have right here. It says the sum, right? What does the word sum mean? And those are the keywords that we have to remember. And you can look at the chart I have. You can download the PDF in the link that I have in the description box, if you would like. The word sum means that we are going to be adding them up together. When you add this and that together, at the end, you have to get 80. And that's a setup of the equation for the first one. In comparison to the second one, once again, we read this inside out. So right here, you see that we're talking about the sum of a number and 12, and we're looking for a number. Well, we don't know what the number is, so let me just put on x. And the other thing that we're working with is 12. So let's put on 12. And what are they doing? We'll refer back to this. The sum of these two. That means we have to once again add them up for the sum, right? Well, is this it? No, because at the end, we have to twice of this, right? We have to do two times of this. But be sure, you have to indicate that we are adding this part first. X plus 12 shall be the first operation. In this case, in order to force this to be the first thing that we have to do, is to put that in a parentheses. At the end, we do two times the whole parentheses. Two times the sum, okay? And we have to figure out the sum first. That's why we have to put this in a parentheses. At the end, of course, this is equal to 80. And you see, the first one says sum of twice, but then the second one says twice the sum, even though you just change the equation, right? Just a little bit. The setup is very different. And you know the parentheses matters so much, and that's solved for the unknown number in these two questions. For this one, this is the setup, and now I can just subtract 12 on both sides. They cancel, and then I get 2x is equal to What's this? Well, 80 minus 12, we get 68. And then we can divide it by 2 on both sides so that the unknown number x equal to 68. Divide by 2, 34. On the other hand, this is what we have. 2 times the parentheses x plus 12 inside. You can divide it by 2 on both sides if you would like, but then I want to be consistent. Let's distribute the 2 into the parentheses. So we will have 2x plus 2 times 12. That's 24. That's equal to 80. And then let's subtract 24 on both sides. Then we will have 2x 
this is equal to 56, right? At the end, divide both sides by 2. Cancel, cancel. In the second situation, we get known x is equal to 56 divided by 2, that's 28. So you see, we do end up with different answers. So hopefully, you guys, you know, pay really good attention, and this video is kind of like showing you guys the way that we have to read the questions when we are dealing with word problems. Okay. That's it.